Hi, welcome to Matt's Garage. Today I'm addressing an issue a lot of scout owners have, which is radiators and radiator uh, fan shrouds. So a lot of times guys throw away French fan shrouds or they get broken or they switch to an electric fan that they just bolt onto the back of the radiator, which is suboptimal. So I'm going to talk about the radiator, talk about fan, fan shroud uh, options and show you what I've come up with. Uh, one thing that's unique about Scouts, especially if you do like an LS or other engine swap, is um, the Chevy water pump is mounted basically in line with the camshaft, a little bit higher. But the Scout water pump is like way up here, which is why it's got that tractor water neck, basically. So, um, you know, it never you never get perfect alignment with a shroud uh doing an engine swap on a Scout. So uh, I was planning on doing a mechanical fan, but I just can't get it to work uh, without moving the engine way too far back into the firewall, which I don't want to do because I like having the room to work. And B, it's just, it just doesn't feel right having the engine that far back. It gets the transmission shift tower way too far. It gets the Dana 20 way too far back. Right now, I've only moved this back about an inch and a half or two inches and up an inch. So um, I have enough room for a uh, electric fan, which I was running before, but I have more room. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. One of my subscribers, Leo, was kind enough to send me a 16 inch electric fan that's a little bit slimmer. Thank you, Leo. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to be mounting that up. This is a Scout 2 radiator. It's been modified to have the... Um, the return on this side of the reservoir because I'm running a Chevy. Uh, stock scouts are on that side, but that's and this is my son's old sock that don't fit him anymore. So this is how I was running the radiator prior. You can actually see the ghosting, uh, the radiator fan prior. You can see the ghosting on the, the fins. And I really don't like this setup because basically when you're stopped, all of this radiator surface area is not drawing air. You're only drawing air from within the circle of the fan, okay? And my water pump was like here. So I wanted to get rid of my body lift, which had dropped everything down and put this webbing right into my water pump uh, pulley. So now I moved the engine back and I'm on to bigger and better things. Nothing wrong with this Flexalite fan, but it is kind of deep. It's like four and a half inches onto better things. This is my new fan, thank you Leo, uh, with a much slimmer design. So if I were to mount this on, I'd have zero problems with clearance now, but I want a shroud because it takes more surface area. So I got this shroud from a salt something something. Uh, it doesn't, I think it mounts that way, but on the Scout, I'm gonna mount it this way. These are quarter 20 bolt mounts. So basically this is gonna go here and it just, just barely fits. I mean, it like is, it's a perfect fit on the Scout, a radiator. And I'll put a link or at least a model number in the description of the video. And then that will sit there perfectly, okay? And obviously you have this gap, so all I've done is I've gotten a four inch um, st aluminum stock and I'll just cut this to size and it'll sit over here and bolt onto this flange. This flange will bolt in the stock scout locations and then this uh, will bolt to the scout radiator down here. It's going to be plenty stiff and what that does is now the fan is going to suck the whole surface area. Um, worth of air through the radiator. This is a great setup, I'm super excited. If you're wondering about the holes, now Air Assault, whatever this company is, offers two different fan shrouds of this size. This one has these holes and it's pretty nifty. There are these uh, silicone flaps basically that push in to these holes, I'm not gonna do it right now, so that when you're sucking air, this the holes are closed. But when you're driving down the road, they sort of flap up and let air through so you get less drag, which is very important on the Scout. The best part about this is that shroud is like 70 bucks or something. So in turn, I think I paid 10 bucks for the aluminum. So in terms of a shroud solution, this one 
is definitely one of the most economical. And I, I full, I mean, I was able to get the motor cooled with just being on the radiator when the electrical is working, which it doesn't always do if you're not smart about your electrical. But when it was working, it was great. With this setup, I have zero doubts I'm gonna run cool all day long. I hope this was helpful because I was always wondering how to make this work. This very low profile shroud is gonna be a very nice addition. Plus it looks nice, guys. I mean, it looks professional. So I think it's gonna be great on the Scout when I get the rest of it done. See you next time on Matt's Garage.